Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject computer programming languages, preprocessor directive. So I already explained about uh, each and every step by taking the example of the Hello World program. So in that uh, the starting, whenever you are writing the program, the starting step of the program is you have to write the preprocessor directive. So that is a hash include. So this is a command for the preprocessor command. This is a hash include. And here you have to write the header file. So for starting of the C program, the first you have to include these header files. So this you call it as a preprocessor command. This is a preprocessor command. So now let us see there are different types of preprocessor uh, directives will be there. Actually this preprocessor is a program. Let me write. Preprocessor is a program that process the source code. This directive will process the source code before it passes through the compiler. It passes through the compiler. So before passing through the compiler means before the execution of the program only, this preprocessor uh, produces a source code. So a preprocessor is nothing but it is a program that processes the source code before it passes through the compiler. It operates under it operate under the control of preprocessor directive the control of preprocessor directives which began with which began with the symbol hash so the preprocessor directive will began with the symbol hash so let us come to the uh, there are three different types of preprocessor directives let me write that the three types of preprocessor directives are macro substitution sorry macro mm, substitution directive so this is one type of preprocessor directive and uh, file inclusion directives file inclusion directives next compiler control directives so these are the three different uh, preprocessor directives that are useful for write uh, writing the c programs so these directives will define and includes the header files and uh, it will help to make the program to write the program easy okay so these are the three different types of preprocessor directives one is a macro substitution directive and a file inclusion directive and a compiler control directive let us see one by one so first is a macro substitution directive let us see what is this macro substitution directive first one macro substitution directive so what is this So actually uh, this macro substitution directive replaces every occurrence of identifier by a predefined string right this macro substitution replaces every occurrence of identifier by a peripheral string by a sorry predefined string means it's just substituting so whatever you are writing that uh, you are giving the another name for that uh, identifier so it just replaces every occurrence of an identifier by a predefined string so we are replacing the identifier with a string means we are substituting the uh, ad identifier with a string the syntax for this is 
macro substitution identifier syntax is hash define identifier string identifier string so let us see the example then you will understand what is this uh, uh, macro substitution mm, suppose hash define pi 3.1415 so instead of writing 3.1415 in the program you are just writing pi so pi is nothing but 3.1415 Okay, means we are replacing the identifier by a predefined string. So, we are defining, we have to write the uh, preprocessor as hash define. Okay, so this is a macro substitution directive. So, hash define. So, suppose another hash define f of x. So, f of x is nothing but here they are declaring as x into x. Instead of writing x into x every time in the program, just write f of x. Okay. So, let us see the program for this. Then you will understand clearly program macro substitution. So, hash include stdio.h stdio.h So, it contains all the input output functions. Uh, now, I am defining the macro substitution. Hash define. So, I am writing weight in place of CLR SCR. CLS, CLR SCR is nothing but clearing the screen. So, whenever you are getting, uh, uh, you want to see the output on the screen, only your output, the current program output will be appeared on the screen. So, completely uh, rest of the thing will be cleared. So, that is the use of CLR SCR. So, instead of CLR SCR, I am writing the alias name as weight. So, weight is nothing but uh, here in this program, only, only for this particular program only. So, this hash defined will be only for that program. So, int main. So, here you have to write the CLR SCR. So, instead of CLR SCR, I am writing weight. So, weight it indicates nothing but it clears the screen. So, this is a comment. So, weight printf hello return 0. Why I am writing return 0? Because I have uh, I have taken int main. So, int main means a return type will be there. The return type should be integer. So, that's why I have written return 0. Okay. This is about the macro substitution directive. Let us see the next directive. The next directive is the file. The second preprocessor directive is the file inclusion directive so what is meant by this file inclusion directive let us see i'm writing first it is a file inclusion directive as an external file an external file containing function suppose any external file is containing function or macro definition whether it may be a function or a macro definition you already declared that macro definitions can be included using hash include directive so this you call it as a file inclusion directive so hash include is nothing but a file inclusion directive include the name itself is saying you have to include any file in that program so that uh, whatever the file that has to be included in the program that will be declared as the starting of the program so this is a file inclusion macro means hash define you are defining one macro one uh, uh, a one string replacing the identifier so the second one is a file inclusion directive file inclusion directive is nothing but hash include so the syntax for this file inclusion directive is hash include you have to write the file name whatever the file you want to be include that has to write means the header files uh, stdio.h conio.h math.h so whatever the file that you want to include in the program that you have to write you can also represent this hash include like hash include so within the quotations so 
you can represent within this like this in brackets or with quotations. So the simple program for this is just write the hash include stdio.h means this stdio.h is a function file which contains all the functions that are related to the input output functions that are present in this stdio.h file just you have to call that print so this print f will be present in this stdio.h hello the output of the program is simply displays hello so here the definition printf so whatever the definition the means the function the definition of printf is present in file inclusion directive that is the std io dot h header file header file so this is about another preprocessor directive that is a file inclusion let us see the third uh, file include um, preprocessor directive so the third one is the compiler control directive so so far we have discussed about the uh, macro substitution directive file inclusion directive now coming to the compiler control directive so what is this compiler control directive so if you take the c preprocessor the c preprocessor offers a features it offers some features known as conditional conditional compiler compilation so the C preprocessor offers a features known as a conditional compilation which can which can be used to switch on or off. So what it means switch on or off of a particular line. Particular line or a group of lines in the program group of lines in program so what it means it's a, a which can be this compiler control directive provides a switch on or off of a particular line or a group of lines in program means it's saying that whether if it is true you have to enter the program if it is false you just uh, leave the program means just like it's a condition s yes or no like switch on or off of a particular line or a group of lines so let me explain with example so hash if you have to declare before uh, this compiler control directives means these are the control directives the compiler will control these directives so that you have to be declared at the starting of the program hash if hash else hash end if etc okay so now I am writing the program. Let's say the program hash define line 1. So I am defining a macro that is the line 1 is as a line is 1. So here whenever I mention line, line is nothing but it is 1. Now I am writing the main program main. So before that, you, you whenever you are writing the program, you have to write the hash include stdio.h also because all input output functions will be present in that direct in that directive only. So it's better to write uh, hash include stdio.h also whenever you are writing the program starting. Okay, next hash define line one main. So in the program now I am writing if definition is line means if definition is line means if it is one then it has to print f what it has to print this is line number has to be print means here it is on else else means off whether it is not true it has to print 
it has to print the value this is line number 2 and if close the main program so this is a program then what will be the output of this program what will be the output here I already define line is 1. So now I am calling if definition is line means if it is 1. Okay it is 1 only because I already define it in starting of the program. So then the output becomes the output of the program is this is line number 1 will be print on the screen. So this is a compiler control directive. So we are declaring it in the starting of the program that is a macro so with the help of these uh, three preprocessor directives macro substitution directive file inclusion directive and compiler control directives we can able to write the programs easily thank you